barbecue tube single door cutout kit. Let's see what's inside. Now, we have two CTTs that you'll have to cut to fit for whatever single door size you have. And you have four of the one-way connect uh, couplers. The first step is to take your VTs and position them for the cutout width of your door. These VTs are included with your module, so you use the ones that you get with your module and position them wherever your single door is going to be. So our cutout width of our door is 14 and a quarter inches. Now we're gonna space these apart 14 and a half inches. We wanna leave that quarter space for, for some wiggle room. So now we'll cut these two CTTs to fit between these two vertical tubes. Now we're gonna use our chop saw um, to cut the steel. Always remember to wear your leather gloves, your face shield, and your hearing protection. Now you don't want anything flammable near the area because the hot sparks you know, it can spark a flame anywhere. Now you're gonna take your tape measure and uh, line it up with your tube at your cutout width. Now usually you have a vice clamp right here with your chop saw, but I've been doing this for years, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it with my hand. So when using a chop saw, sometimes when you cut it, it makes burrs. So what you do is you get a filer because you want the couplers to go in so now once the CTTs are cut, we'll put them in the one-way couplers and we'll screw them in. Don't forget the shoot technique. Now we really only need to screw the um, one side because you're going to want it sitting flush later on. Now once you've inserted the one-way couplers, you're going to slide it in for the bottom track. Make sure the screws are facing in because you want it nice and flush later on. So now you're going to slide it all the way down so that the bottom of the coupler is touching the bottom too. Now we're going to only screw in the top wings of the one-way couplers. You don't really need to screw in the bottom because you're really only holding a, a, maybe a 15 pound door. So now that we installed the bottom tube, we're gonna take our actual door, we're gonna rest it on the bottom of the tube, and then we're going to install the top track and rest it just over the top flanges of the door. And then we're gonna, now we'll get our sliding clamp Clamp this down, and then we'll screw in the, the top wings of the bottom, uh, top tr the top tube. So now you're gonna take out the sliding clamp and remove your door. And now you know you have a perfect cutout for this exact door. This was the easiest way to do a door cutout using barbecue tubes.